And amen. Well, Robert Earl Dean, who do we have with us today? We have another great gospel artist on today. We getting double from the Lord. This is none other than Mr. Cedric Shannon Rives. Good morning. Welcome to the Wake Up Morning Show, my brother. Hey, thank you so much for having me. So excited to be here. We're excited to have you. So, brother, what's what's going on in your neck of the woods? What's happening with you? Man, I'm just, uh, you know, just blessed, man. We've just been uh, just trying to survive here and just, uh, you know, just overcoming and receiving the blessing of the Lord in the midst of all that's happening in the world right now. So we're just trying to be safe and, you know, just live in these unprecedented times or the, this moment in history we're in. Amen. So tell me, what part of the country we in? you in? Because I see a socks, a white socks hat on, but uh, what part of the country are you in? Uh, <laughs> Well, actually, yeah, I'm uh, I'm right up the road. I'm in St. Louis, Missouri. Um, I'm in St. Louis, Missouri, um, but I'm representing the Sox today. You know, that's one of my favorite teams. So, um, you know, I'm, but I'm down here in St. Louis, Missouri, the Gateway Arch, the Midway to the West. Amen. Talent, amen. Talented people, y'all talented and y'all anointed. So, so tell me this, my amen. friend. Praise God. Um, uh, let's talk about your ministry and your group. Okay. Um, well, my well, of course, my name is Cedric Shannon Reeves. Um, uh, I'm a singer, preacher, uh, songwriter. Uh, you may not, for those of you who may not be familiar with my name, I've written for a lot of national gospel artists, um, such as uh, Leandria Johnson, uh, Dwayne Woods, Darwin Hobbs, the Anointed Pay Sisters. Wow. Their last two singles I wrote um, from their latest two projects. Um, also, um, let's see. Uh, who else? Uh, Sam Franklin, Crystal Rucker, Bishop Paul Martin. I have a song on his latest, his last legacy album. And uh, I've worked uh, with the Potter's House and Bishop T.D. Jakes. And uh, I've written, had an opportunity to, writ, to write for a lot of artists. I have a lot of music, probably about 14 songs rotating in the marketplace right now um, that I've written. And now I've kind of stepped out on my own. I formed this uh, wonderful group in, here in St. Louis called the Brothers. Yes. And these are four other four young men that, um, you know, that I mentor and that I um, just really love. It started about four years ago uh, because I've been touring all but, over Europe. But let, and, let me uh, stop you real you quick. Know, Germany. Let, let me stop you right quick because I think you might be talking. Okay. Is, is one of the brothers Cleophus Robinson? Yes, it is. Okay. So so I should let him in on this interview? <laughs> Let him in. Let him in. Okay, him so in. I'm gonna let him in, but Open I, I the door. but I, I want you to tell him, tell him now. Look, brother, we had already started. I had to stop to let you in the house. <laughs> no, here you go. He's coming on in. All right, yeah. go ahead, go ahead. We'll get him on in. Yeah, I'm gonna. Okay, yeah. So basically, um, the group started. Uh, he's he Cleophas Robinson is also the while we're talking about him, the son of the legendary, the legendary. Cleophas Robinson Jr. Yes, and the sir. grandson of the great gospel singer Cleophas Robinson. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, so his legacy is his legacy is rich. He's a multifaceted, um, not only singer, but musician. He plays all the instruments at, a, at, at level best, drums, organ, keys, you know, whatever. And he's the he is the MD for the, the group, the brothers. He produced um, the current album that, that we are we have coming out. And um, as well as the single that you guys have today over there. And so um, he's just been a phenomenal um, uh, uh, addition uh, to the group. And uh, we just, these young men, like I was saying, we do life together. Um, I invited them about four years ago to do a tour with me um, over Europe. We, and and um, after we came back home, it was such a great energy and a synergy that we just decided to keep going. We were writing songs in the middle of concerts over there. Wow. And uh, before we knew it, we did about we did about 30 concerts, probably in about a five to six week period. Mm -hmm. And uh, by the time we got back to the United States, all those songs that we wrote, we decided to record a, to make them a, our debut album, which came out in 2016. And um, we've been able to, you know, travel and do all that on it. And now we have something fresh coming for you guys. So, 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 Brother Cedric, I, I got to get uh, Cleophis right. Cleophis, we need you to turn your camera long ways so they can see you in the fullness of your of glory. Your glory. Uh, praise the Lord. You, you know, we got to get deep. Look at him. See that smile on his face? Now everybody like, there he go. So, there he go. So, Cedric, how'd you, you, how, how you get so connected 
with so many people with your with your music? What was your first song that got nationally placed? Um, my very first song that was nationally placed, I believe it was uh, a song called Sovereignly Rain um, by Dwayne Woods. Okay. Okay, because 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 listeners, Dwayne um, Dwayne, yeah, because there are listeners here yeah, and they yeah, need yeah, to know so the so. process because there's so many young writers want to know how do I get started, how do I do this, kind of walk us through that that vein of how that connected with Dwayne who lives in San Diego now. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I love Dwayne. I've been knowing Dwayne for a very long time. We've been friends for a long time, and so. Uh, when he called and asked me for a song, uh, you know, can it, did I have anything? And I was like, yeah, you know, I got something. I just sent it. You know, he loved it. He recorded it and put it out. You know, uh, Donald uh, Lawrence, of course, he was a producer and the manager of the label he was on at that time. Mm -hmm. Loved it as well. And, you know, they the rest was history. Um, but my process, not to sound deep, was a little different. Mm -hmm. um, I haven't done the conventional way mm -hmm. of... Um, of writing, like submitting and trying to go through A and R people and this and that and that to get the placements. Literally, I'm not even joking. Every song that I have, somehow the artist heard it, maybe through mutual friends of mine, or maybe I recorded it on one. Cause I have before the brothers, I also have three solo albums wow. that I've done over the years before I even made it up to the brothers. So right. I have a lot of music in the marketplace, uh, even for myself, that mm -hmm. I was just recording. It didn't get necessarily, you know, uh, national attention, though I was traveling, singing it internationally, right. but it was circulating nonetheless. And people were asking if they could record the songs. And um, most of the time, you know, like I have, I'm like uh, Amber Bullock, uh, uh, she's the, one of the winners of uh, BET Sunday Best. Right. She was actually riding in her car playing my one of my albums, and and Leandria Johnson was in the car with her, and she heard the song, and they called me on three way, and she asked me if she could record it. Wow. <laughs> She's like, I love this song, I want to sing it, you know. <laughs> so Amen. it was it's, it's been it's been unconventional for right. me. That's um, God. Every song, pretty much, I have played. Someone called me and asked me if they could have it. Um, you know, which put me in a great position. Wow. Um, you know, uh, negotiating wise, because I wasn't submitting the song. I was asking, I was being asked to, which gave me the power to be able to keep all of my publishing. Praise the Lord. Right. Like everything That's a I've ever put out. Yes. Well, well, well you know, um, um, my, my new CD that I'm working on oh, right Jesus. now, um, I'm oh, going to need, oh. need a real <laughs> special song uh, from it. You know, uh, because I, I am so anointed to just to go, shh. So I need you to write a song that, that allows me just to go, shh. And that's all I do. I don't do nothing else. I got to get people to do the rest. But while, while we're at this, uh, don't don't listen to Robert Earl Dean. You know, he's an international celebrity. I, I ain't saying nothing. I'm you know, just waving I, my hand and move my hand. You know, uh, the, the haters will be with you always. Yes, and but God, I God thank will have those God, with discernment, too. I thank God with you that he's not going to block my blessing. Yes, praise Let's him. talk about the young man that <laughs> is with you today because, you know, I'm already liking him, but I like his mic setup. He's legend. He got a legendary last name. Uh, we lost Play it. mute. Uh, uh, he needs to unmute his mic. There you go. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I said you got a legendary last name. We we want to talk to you. Oh yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm I'm just Cleo. Is that something? <laughs> yes, but you know what? A lot of times God places us in position, and the lineage, and the anointing and the covering, kind of lets us stand up on our own. But we have a big mantle over us. And how does it feel? to be doing your producing and, and making airwaves now on your own? Um, it feels actually pretty good. Uh, I, I guess, um, like Cedric, I've been doing it for some time now. Um, I had recorded some things that my father was about to put out before he passed away. Um, and uh, he actually released a record that um, I produced alongside of my uncle, um, Shadrach Robinson. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, being in this space has been different uh, because Cedric Shannon Reeves, he's going to push you to no end. He's going to push you into a place that he sees that you you should have been a long time ago. So I appreciated that aspect of it. So so tell me this, you know, uh, let's talk about how did you meet uh, Cedric? You know, we're going we're going to affectionately call him the hit maker 
that owns all his own publishing. How did you get? How, <laughs> see, look at did oh, you God. see? Did you see? Oh, did you God. see the anointing? It just yeah. it, 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 it is shook. Got a quick name. Got yeah. A quick name. <laughs> so let's talk about how you all really got connected. And and I want to say this. And how did you grow a brotherhood? Yes. Because in this industry, so many people yes, say that their word is their bond, but many times they not their word is not their bond. It's only until they see something else. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, so I guess the way that I can describe this, uh, Cedric knew me when I was in the world, when I came into the world. Um, so he kind of he he was actually at my father's church. When my father was pastoring. And um, because of that, he would always say, you know, that my father uh, poured so many things into him mm -hmm. that he wanted to be able to give back to him. And Cedric called me after my father passed, maybe a month after my father passed, and said he, he had been praying and he had wanted to uh, give back to my father. And the Lord told him uh, the way that he can give back is to pour into his seed. Wow. And uh, wow, that thing can preach by itself. Yes, but, sir. Um, mm -hmm. He 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 said he said those words to me, and um, we've been we've been rocking ever since. The funny thing is, um, and I say this all the time, and I don't say it to be um, mean or anything, but I told Cedric no initially, and Cedric never took the word no. He just said, "Okay, I'll call you back in a month, brother." Mm -hmm. And uh, he he kept pushing me into a place where he saw me, you know, being fruitful and not giving up on myself. So I appreciated that. One one of the things I want to uh, uh, highlight is that. Um, I, I appreciate you, Cedric, for being a man of God yes. uh, enough to follow what God had told you to do, mm -hmm. and um, and also uh, a standing with a relationship of what you received. Uh, you decided that you was gonna pour, but God told you to pour, and you was like saying, "Look, the spouse gonna be open no matter if you like it or not. You are gonna get wet." <laughs> right? Come on. Yeah, yes. and, and and that's a beautiful Absolutely. thing. So let me ask you this question. What's the age difference between you guys? How many years apart are you guys? Uh, well, I'm 42, so what's that, Clee? How many um, years is that? I'm 34, so that'd be eight years. Okay. Yeah. So, so y'all, y'all, eight years apart from each other. Is there a generational gap? Uh, because y'all look like y'all the same age, but is there a generational gap, or Come how on, do you guys talk, Doc. Yeah. This man is anointed. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just like saying, because you know a lot of times young people say we just don't understand. Right. Um, how, are, how are you guys bridging that? Because y'all literally look like y'all on the same page, going down the same, driving in the same car, and y'all both enjoying the ride. Uh, we, well, yeah, I think that, um, honestly, uh, there there is, but there isn't. Um, if that makes any sense, like, I... I knew that uh, I knew that uh oh don't call me. I knew that um, that when 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 it happened when when the group formed, I knew that it was more than singing. Right. I knew there was more singing. I knew that I had done a lot. See, see he, what he was saying is his, his pastors um, with Bishop. I'm sorry, with Pastor Cliff was Robinson. He um, like he literally baptized me. I grew up in his father's church. So like, like I, he, he, you know, and so it's like, yeah. So it was just like coming up, coming up, coming up. I remember when they moved from Detroit, when, when he moved, we, when he got married to his wife, uh, Karen Robinson, when she moved from Detroit up here or whatever. And um, I was just always in fact with them as a kid. I was very progressive. I started singing really early. I was just very active and I, I was very aware of everything that was happening. And um, and I've kind of always been like that, you know, on the cutting edge of, uh, you know, or whatever, man. And I don't really have time to get into it today, but make a long story short is I have a testimony and I don't look like what I've been through. Come on. Mm -hmm. Come on. And, yes, sir. Um, and so mm -hmm. and so when I come to the realization, you know, of that, it keeps me in touch, you know, and keeping them, you know, around me or whatever. I'm able to learn from them and I'm also able to pour into them at the same time because everybody in the group is eight to 10 years younger than me, all of the guys. Right. So so let me ask this. So, uh, um, I was going to ask uh, br Brother Robinson uh, just re real quickly. Um, you know, I'm 50, I'm 55, getting ready to be 56 years old. Um, uh, can I audition for the brothers? <laughs> <laughs> blessed, blessed quietness. Well, uh, 
Well, I, I, I guess we, we would we would have to see, you know, because uh, we we have they was, yeah. great Lloyd Nix. They were speechless. They were speechless. You Help them, Holy Ghost. It, it, you know, and, 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 and the reason why I'm asking this is um, so many times people see people have a good thing. Yes. And then they want to jump on board of what God has blessed you with. How do you guys keep your group? you know, focus and pure and not let anyone separate you when they see that the going is good. Man, Clee, I'll let you take a stab at that first. <laughs> <laughs> um, or you want me to first, and then you can piggyback. Uh, it, it don't matter whichever one you want to do. <laughs> yeah, I, the, main, the main thing is, is that, um, you know, we have a lot of honorary members, mm -hmm. uh, brothers, um, and, and some of them ha even sing with us from time to time uh, when, one, when one can't make it. You know, we, we, got, we have dates and calendars and everybody because mm -hmm. all of the guys are individual artists themselves. Oh, great. They all have their own music out as well. And uh, they all travel. They all do, you know, uh, they're doing their thing, you know. But when we come together, there's something special about it. We're making the devil out of a lie in many different ways. For one, as young black men, come on, um, just being able to support and love each other mm -hmm. that are talented and equal talent people, because people will think like mm -hmm. the way everybody is able to sing and how mm -hmm. gifted each individual person is. Mm -hmm. Are people on the outside looking in often say, oh, I, I, "I know this. I know it's a lot of drama over there. That's too many egos. Right. That's too many this. Mm -hmm. That's too many that." But you know what, man, as a leader, I've never led a group like this before. So I trust literally Holy Spirit with everything. You know, right. I pray about everything. And we don't just sing together. We do life together. Like, right. I've learned to love them, their families, their right. wives, their right. children. Right. You know, I do life with their children. I show up at that stuff outside of this and outside of that. And we literally are learning. So I, I can see how... Holy Spirit has been woven us together because we had the singing part down fact. That was almost instant. Right. It, it was literally like undeniable synergy, you know, but the other part we just had to work on. And because we worked so hard and we understand the price that it costs to be able to walk in this kind of unity mm -hmm. among brethren, among, you know, just among men, um, I personally protected mm -hmm. with everything that I have. And, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm quick to shake off offense I'm, I don't carry a lot of stuff on my heart Come as on. it relates to it. I stay focused. I stay running forward on the vision. Uh, I try to keep love and loving in the forefront of everything. And, um, and, when, and when, I, when people on the outside looking in, most of the time, they don't really want to, to come in and do the work. They just like what they see on the stage. The glory. But it's so much more than that. <laughs> <laughs> so I figure if they really knew what it costs, um, not just, you know, cost, cost financially, but what it costs of the price that you have to pay of what you have to give of yourself yes. to make the ship sail, they keep on walking by. So yes, yes, I'm going to ask this yes, question sir. now. Is everybody married? No, three of the five are. Okay. So if I got the three wives together, and, and what would their testimony be about Y'all brothers on the stage and how they handle your stage um, uh, popularity. To be honest, they probably would say it's rough, you know. <laughs> and <laughs> and I, I say I say that it, it's in a joking way, um, but you know, like Cedric was talking about, you know, a lot of people just see what we do mm -hmm. and just want to be attached. That's one of the things that I mm -hmm. hated uh, when coming up because a lot of people wanted to be attached to my father. Yes. Uh, but they just saw they just saw that my father saw my father on stage saw him preaching or mm -hmm. uh, singing and they just wanted to be attached to that but they didn't understand what it cost to be there mm -hmm. you know um, and uh, again uh, I know my wife probably would say you know it it, it is countless nights where you know I, as I was working on the brothers project where I had to sit or I would hear different things in the middle of my sleep and she would say I woke up singing. You know, so she would have to, you know, experience me getting out of bed two or three o'clock in the morning, you know, and that's a frustrating thing because, you know, nowadays uh, the lost art of marriage is uh, 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 they don't stay faithful. You know, mm -hmm. at two or three o'clock in the morning, you, you getting up to go somewhere, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But I'm thanking God that the wife that I have, she understood, you know, that um, when I hear from God, 
uh, she allows me to go and do what I need to do, you know. Uh, so, uh, again, I, I, I believe that they'll say it's been challenging, but they'll understand. They understand that um, the place that we've been in has been the most wonderful place, uh, especially like Sid was saying, that they're seeing us do life together. It's, it's called a calling on your life. All this stuff is just not happening just because. Our steps are ordered by God, especially yeah. those that are chosen. So we're seeing the manifestation of what God had already had designed. And what I admire about both of you is that you're walking in the purpose of God. You know, you, I'm, I'm hearing that you guys pray. I'm hearing that you guys are focused. I'm hearing that you guys are covered. Let's talk about being what you sing about in, in, in gospel, because gospel has lost its luster because of all the different um, negative things that have come out. How do you keep the focus of God being a part of your ministry? Um, well, for me, uh, it's particularly with this group, um, every, I'm primarily the one that writes most of the material. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a couple of other amazing writers too, and I'm sure that we'll explore that more later. But right now, I write probably 90% of the music and I write out of testimony. If I can't uh, live it, if I haven't lived it or experienced it or, you know, that's where my songs are birthed. It's birthed out of my relationship with him. Mm -hmm. And so that automatically alone is going to give you a level of accountability because it was birthed from that place. It yeah. was, that's the real place. This is what I, this is the situation that happened. This is what was going on. This is where the wood, this is how I came out, whatever this is, whatever the pattern is. So, because I don't just write randomly um, or just about anything or subjects that I don't know nothing about, or just as sounds good or trying to keep up with the trend or keep up with what's, what's popular right now. And, you try to get on a bandwagon of what's selling. And I don't do none of that. When I write, I get in the Holy Ghost. I pray. And, w and most of the time I get a melody. Even if it's not a whole song, I get a piece of something that I may develop later. But mm -hmm. all of my music can preach. Wow. And all of it comes out of my personal relationship with God. Wow. One of, one of the things, Brother Cedric, um, um, I would love to get you back um, on, on one of our TV shows and, and literally... Um, get to know uh, the additional story about your walk and, and, and what God has brought you to to this time. There's so many uh, uh, things that I, I love that you said. One of the things that you said is, is that, you know, um, uh, I went through something, but even in your going through something, God had an anointing um, on your life. And it's so amazing where um, people chase dreams and you just lived your dream. And you didn't chase a contract. You didn't chase people uh, uh, trying to grab your songs, you put the songs out and you gave it unto God. And because you gave it unto God, God brought everybody to you. And that's that's amazing where so many people are running after it and you're just doing it and they're coming to you. So I applaud you and would love to uh, have a, a more in-depth conversation about your story that I think it'll really bless people's lives. I have a question. If I gave you $2 million and said, Cedric, put together the Cedric Concert of the Year, what artist, dead or alive, would you get? So Cedric, before you answer that, I want you to know that he normally only gives one million out. So uh, he's giving you two million. So I, <laughs> I, I really want to see this one. Well, I'm giving him two million because I'm expecting him to give me a song for my solo album. Praise him. You, you see how he does? Yes, sir. He, did you see how you start with my song? <laughs> It just jump right into it. Right. <laughs> right. Because I'm the artist on the show. <laughs> it, it's okay. You, you, you give him his song. You know, I'll wait, wait a minute. Cedric, I'll, I'll Man, just. he started I'll, it. I'll just wait. Bro, I'll he, just wait. He started, so I had to kind wait, of walk right on into go, it. Wait a minute. Go on, give him his song. But I'll wait. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. So, okay. Man, so you, you got $2 million. Hilarious. I love it. Yeah. <clears throat> They can okay, be dead or alive. This, is, is this gospel? It could be. Gospel? It could be whatever you want it to be. I'm giving you two million. Do what you want to do, because guess what? God made everything perfect and good. We yeah. the one tainted it. So yeah. music, good music is good music. But don't put you. Don't put Cardi B on it, because that might cause folks oh, to be goodness. upset. <laughs> <laughs> my lord. <laughs> well, well, you, well, you know she's saying in the choir. Uh, right. <laughs> the, de the devil did too. <laughs> Who well, no, you did? Oh, I'm not saying that she's. I'm just Lord saying. Lord Jesus. I was just using an example. Uh -huh. 
Oh my goodness. Ooh, let me hear it before we get before I get in trouble. Let me take care. <laughs> Just take your time. Um, I know it's a tough okay, question. Okay, two million. They can be dead two or alive. Million, two million dollars. Okay, dead or alive. Yes. It, it's your concert. Um, and it's my concert. Yep. Man, that's a hard question. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna have to have uh, the greatest voice from for my generation, uh, a Whitney Houston. I have to have her. I'm gonna have to have her sing a little little something in there. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, I have to have. Woo. Man, this is tough. Um, I don't know if I could get Michael Jackson for two million, but I, uh, maybe he can send us a video and we can right. play it. <laughs> <laughs> the God might touch his heart. God may have touched his heart. He's not as expensive as he used to be. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> Mike, and then uh, I had to come back around and get. Um, Man, I shoot. This is sound crazy. They taking over. I, I I love the clock system, man. So mm-hmm. shoot, yes. Um, they 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 def they definitely got to be on there. Yes, sir. Um, and then like the 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 brethren the, with the brothers. Hmm, I have to go with anybody on want, man. Oh, this is so hard. This is so hard. I know. Um, that's why I did it. Oh, my God. This is so hard. Uh, who else will make the ticket? I'll have to go with... You, you need Brother Robinson to help you? I'm stumped. Brother Robinson, yeah, stumped. Brother Robinson, come on. Help me with the concert. Do your concert while I'm thinking the rest of my concert. Right. <laughs> uh, so, so for me, mm-hmm. um, two people that I would definitely try and have is Donny Hathaway. That was the first one that came to my mind. Okay. Uh, it'd be Donny Hathaway, Stevie Wonder. That was the second person that came to my mind. Yes, sir. Um, and um, because because they mimic them, um, or I feel like. They all had the same kind of movement. It probably would be my father and my uncle Shadrach Robinson mm-hmm. that I would put on this ticket. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm with said I like the I like the Whitney Houston. Yeah, uh, that would be a great you know uh, a great pool in there. Yeah, uh, I don't know about the Michael, but me personally because I don't know if I want the glove up there. Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but um, I, I would also put the Clark sisters in that ticket as well. Yes. Um, That'd be a good concert. And um, me, yes, sir. And me personally, I would add uh, one other person because I call we call him the golden voice of the group, uh, Mitchell Ford. He would have to sing. Uh, well, it's already that, our it's already our concert, right? It, so we so we already gonna be there. You yeah, already, you already gonna be there. It's our See? show. Yeah, I, I just want to let See, y'all know that's that. That's why I didn't say that to them. Yeah, I want y'all to know that those are some good lineups. Those are you know, great lineups. But, but I want to say, but what? Uh, I want to know who are you gonna have host the concert? Now listen. Now answer this one carefully. Yeah, answer this one carefully. Whew. Oh Lord, my Lord! Uh, it's looking you in your face. Dead or alive? <laughs> no. See, he's just trying to do that because he wants you to say him. Lord, have mercy. Help see, us see, today, can, Holy can Ghost. You, can you stop I, usurping the authority? I, I didn't say that. You, you know, Father God, please help I, him today. I, I love you, I love you, Elder, but I don't know if I could choose you. Lord uh, Jesus. Only, only, only because there is there's too many great people uh, uh, that probably would beat me down if I didn't choose them. I so this is why that would be so hard. I love no, the no, answer. No, no, see, see, this is what you do. It's just like you have the different artists. You have different intro people, you know. Uh, my my specialty is shh, so I like I'll be that. your quieter. See what I'm saying? Well, then he would get James like that. for that, you know. And then, <laughs> and then, but, you, but you know what? I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you booked though 
I'm gonna become your booking agent, and I'm gonna get you booked at all the quartet shows because they have they shear everybody. See, yeah, they see whatever everybody. they want to say. Right, right, right. So, right. so there, there is a place for everybody. Thank you, Lord, would, that God has something for everybody. In the he would body be the Christ. master. He'd be the master. <laughs> he'd be see? the, see? He'd, be the see? he'd be the mascot. See, y'all got he'd, vision. He'd be the sanctified mascot. There's some anointing with y'all. <laughs> Yes, okay. sir. <laughs> so, right. So, I was like, so, look, I'm putting out the first fly. Anybody that needs a shield, I got your guy. You got <laughs> yes, right. Look us today. <laughs> Whatever your hand finds to do, we're gonna get you to do it. Praise him. <laughs> now, now let's talk yes, about sir. let's talk about your new single with our girl Candy West. We just interviewed her not long ago, and she is dope. Oh yeah. Love, love, love Candy West. Yes. Uh, I've been friends with her probably ooh, since two thousand and Three, mm-hmm. um, we met. We met in L.A. I was uh, putting up a show, a play that I had written, I, that I wrote called "I'm Not What I Did." Mm-hmm. Uh, I wrote a show called "I'm Not," and I performed it in L.A. Um, I went out there for about three months, and I put it up for some investors, and um, I well, casted her in that show. And we, I have been fa- been a fan of hers for ever mm-hmm. and uh she was out there singing background you know with deborah cox and doing some other things and uh we connected in that way and we never let go oh, yeah. um ever since all the way up until this present moment and so so you chose that so, song you wrote that song specifically for her or you just placed her in it um you you know you know no, no, no. well actually i wrote the song uh actually for the group but on this album uh the last album we collaborated um, on our very first debut CD, the, the self-titled, uh, that's right, that's out right now on iTunes. You need to go get that so you can be cut, caught up with the old for all your listeners, so you can be ready for the new. Right. But uh, yep. um, but um, but but on that album, we had duet on that with Crystal Rucker. Um, and so this album, we wanted a female on this record uh, do a duet or whatever. You know, I said, what better person than Candy? When I heard the vibe after we finished the record, Mm -hmm. I was like, it's missing something. There needs to be something else on her. That's, there's another place this record can go. And, um, and Candy, uh, so graciously, you know, we, we, we emailed her, emailed her the song. And a couple hours later, she emailed it right back with those vocals on it and, and took the song, to heights that we couldn't even imagine. Yeah. And, um, you know, she came down here. We shot a video for her. We got a video right now circulating all over Facebook right yes. now. That's got, it's almost at 50K. I'm so excited. And it's about great. 50,000 people have already heard this song. It's so great. we're getting very close to that mark. Um, it's only been about a month. And um, so I'm really happy about that as well. And then I had another friend of mine in Tampa, Florida named Lim. His name is Jalem Robinson, but we call him Lim. He came and put the rap on there. And uh, I met him uh, probably about five or six years ago in, in Tampa. He opened up for me when I was doing a concert that one time. And his rap was so oily, man. I had never, I, I renamed him. I, I created a category for him. Right. Because when he got through rapping, I saw the presence of God fill the house. Wow. And people begin to worship all over the house off of a rap off song. A rap song. And ever since then, I, yeah, I didn't even know when I would work with him, but I knew that I would. Right. I didn't know when it was going to happen. Um, and I held him close um, up until this opportunity came for us to do this record. And so I told him, now, you're not just a rapper. You do rap shit. That's Amen. good. Yes, sir. <laughs> you now, do, now, you now. do rap shit. That's good. We so bought the presents, Doc. Bro- brother, brother Cedric, I need you to slow it down because if you do it too quickly, it sounds like something else. Okay. And, rap and you, it, shit. Thank right. you, praise right. the Lord. And you know what? <laughs> Worship and rap, rap ship. Ship. together. Praise the Lord. HIP. Yeah. Right, yeah. right. And, and you know what, too, Cedric? People have slept on that St. Louis area, but let me tell you, the Retinas, the um, Tamika Fogies, wait, um, you guys, wait a minute. Marcus Lambert. Let me Lampton. tell you something. What? I got to stop you right there. I'm glad you said that. Because Raytina Robinson is Cleophas's wife. What? <laughs> okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Stop. Stop. Wait a minute. That's stop. one of our favorite stop. artists. Stop. We stop. we play stop. her on this show all the time, stop. my brother. Stop. You definitely got to get me a song. Stop. Stop the presses. Yes, sir. Uh, brother Cleophas, I'm gonna speak to you directly. Yes, sir. Wow. Uh. <laughs> thus thou art, thus thou That's art, our girl. Shh, I'm trying to speak to oh, him. I'm sorry, praise him. 
thus thou art anointed. Yes. And we want you to know that the anointedness is with you in the wee hours of the morning. We want you to go strong. <laughs> and we want to see a duet with you two. Uh, but no, your your wife is oh amazing. Uh, God. We, we love her, Robert. As a matter of fact, she's on docket today uh, to take us on home. Oh, so, well, I won't quit. It, yeah. So I want you to know that uh, we we definitely love you guys. And um, we can go on and on again because you guys are, are just like family. We want you to know that here at GOD Radio, yes. we're going to continue to rock with yes. the St. Louis area. And uh, please know this. I would love for you all to share uh, the different ministries where they can find you, not the brothers, but also um, uh, individually, each person that's in, mm-hmm. and also put up Retina. She, uh, uh, I see Retina's on now. Put up Retina's information, too, girl, uh, nothing and, nice. because all of y'all together are making a move in the kingdom like never before. And, Brother Cedric, I want to say to you, thank you for um, having the spirit of so many other people yes. like Levi too, yes. putting so many people on Whew. and having no fear of sharing your platform My because God. God has established your position. So thank you for what you are doing, and yes. we're going to rock with you too. In, in closing, let me tell you, my cousin's choir is doing I Won't Quit for New Year's night. Um, I, let, I let my cousin, who's a producer as well, and I let him hear that I won't quit, and when... That church choir got to sing in that Pentecostal upbeat stuff, and Retina was able to pull the song and push us over the cliff. You know, you take get some people get you to the cliff, but she pushes you over the cliff. That's a hit. So we thank you yes, all sir. for sharing your ministries with all of us. We're in over 21 countries with BDS reporting stations, so we got you. Well, thank you so much, guys, for having us. This was an honor. Um, for me, and I really appreciate the push. And uh, we got some great things coming up uh, in 2021, and I'm so happy to uh, have new family today. Yes, sir. Send it our way. We are ready. And we thank God for, for DJ, Darius Hicks, who helped set this up. That gentleman has given us so many great artists. Thank you. Um, he's like a brother to me, and we appreciate you all. God bless you. And again, where can they find you all at real quick? Um, well, I'm Cedric at Cedric Shannon Reeves on everything. Okay. Twitter, uh, face, Facebook, um, Instagram, all of that. Cedric Shannon Reeves at yahoo.com is my email. Uh, if you want to reach us, uh, by that for booking and anything like that. And, uh, Cedric Shannon Reeves and the brothers on Facebook. We have a, a Facebook page that has a lot of awesome stuff on it right now. Yeah. As well as Instagram It's called the bros STL. Okay. All right. Well, here you go. This is your light real. Uh, wait a minute. Introduce the song because I, I done messed it up already. Introduce the song for me. And I'm gonna play it. All right. This song is called Your Light, and basically, what we want you to know while you listen to this song in Genesis, uh, the Bible says that Jesus commanded darkness. I'm um, commanded light on the darkness. He meaning he spoke to darkness and said, let there be light. So no matter how dark it is in your life right now, all it takes is for God to command light on your dark situation and everything can change. This is a song you can listen to every morning when you get up to set the tone of your day. It's a song of gratitude yeah. saying, God, I'm choosing to walk into your light and not the stuff that's going on around me. Amen. Right here on GOD Radio 1. Let's listen. 